happened Definitely. to a very good friend of mine who actually happened to be the former head of New York City Transit, ran the subways, <gasps> and she got punched in the face in uh, the broad I, daylight. I, I, when was that? About a, a 15 months ago. Wow. Wow. Yeah, so it's a, it's a scary trend. Yeah. Um, the police Ooh. finally overnight connecting the video to the crime, the TikTok to the crime. Wow. Yeah. Wow. All right, Fantastic. Steph. Thank, thank you. Thank you. The thing about this part that's so bad is women are being punched by men. It is an epidemic of women of one race being punched by men of another race. The tone of these stories should be different. There should be a different tone to the reporting. There should be a different tenor to what we're reporting here. And there would be if it was a white man because, you know, people generally expect better of them. Exactly. Multiple women in New York City taking to social media claiming they've been randomly punched on the street. Yeah, the videos are surprising and they've sparked nationwide outrage. Fox Eyes' Michelle Ross takes a closer look at what's been happening. You guys, I was literally just walking and a man came up and punched me in the face. So I just got punched in the face walking home. Women are taking to TikTok sharing similar stories of them getting punched in the face in unprovoked attacks on the streets of New York City. Oh my God, it hurts so bad. I can't even talk. Influencer Hallie Kate developed a bump on her forehead after she says a man walking a dog punched her on Monday in Chelsea. For that attack, police charged 40-year-old Skabuki Stora with assault and harassment. Standing in front of a Trump flag, Skibuki. he claims he's a great-great-grandson of Marcus Garvey. With more than 90,000 followers on social media, he posts videos of women and his interactions with police. Hey, you finally harassing a white person, man. Good job, man. It's unclear if he's responsible for the other attacks. The string of women said this happened to them in recent weeks. This woman posted about getting punched in the face two years ago. Like 75% of the women he punches are hot. He, and that's the part like that's crazy. Like he's not just punching regular white women. He's not punching Raggedy Ann. He's punching hot white women. You could tell this ain't Philly. Years ago. Oh my actual God. I literally just got punched in the face by a homeless man. Like literally walking to the gym. Yeah, that's fucking racist to assume he was homeless. Just in, like absolute disbelief literally as soon as they came like, did she tell the police or did she just tell her phone they, they go straight to tiktok they didn't even call the yeah police. it's like you fucking idiot fucking <laughs> you got some points thing, man you, you definitely do but here's the thing though like they live in new york they're from new york like they know like calling the police i mean some means guy nothing. Punches, yeah, it's, it, it doesn't mean the same thing as you guys might think it means. Well, no, okay. I, I understand, but it's just the, yeah. the instinct is, is it's ridiculous. No, but you got to report it. I do think you got to make a police report, even though you know they're not going to catch the guy. Not because they're not, not because of bad police work, just because there's so many fucking migrants and transient black dudes roaming around the street. I mean. <laughs> New York is dense, man. Um, but but here's the thing. I do think they should have all made police reports. And we don't know if they did. To the ground, and I'm just in, like, absolute disbelief. Literally, as soon as they came, they were like, do you want to get in the back of the car and go try to find this guy? They, like, threw on their sirens. We ran around all of Soho. In a now-deleted comment on one of the TikTok videos, former Real Housewives of New York City star Bethany Frankel commented with a similar experience, writing, This happened to me a few months ago, but I was embarrassed to say. I was taking a video of a bakery. And in almost all... She was embarrassed to say. Think about the, 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 the country where we're at when a white woman's embarrassed to say some black guy came up and slugged me in the fucking chin and just walked off embarrassed and afraid i mean i mean let's be real <laughs> there'd be a thousand sisters at least that call her fucking racist joy reed would be talking shit was taking a video of a bakery and in almost all of the tiktok videos the women say that they were everybody from philly i want you to understand i want you to see what we're talking about if you're from philly i i think you need to understand man this is it, it's just a difference man like it's just a difference, man. Like y'all don't, yeah, y'all with all these women would look like bag ladies if they were from Philly. 
And in almost all of the TikTok videos, the women say that they were on their phones not paying attention. So they are telling women everywhere to be more aware of their surroundings. In Chelsea, Michelle Ross, Fox 5 News. Philadelphia Parking Authority is about to start cracking down on drivers who are doing things like blocking ramps and parking oh, on yeah. sidewalks. Let me, let me show Jeff, you how this, this has guy. become a big problem lately. Hold on, let me show you this guy. Let me show you this guy. This this guy we was um we talking about here. Um this guy. Let me let me show you him. Our friend, man. Um Iconic, man. Is that chronic in the building? Yeah. Hey man, do y'all have a problem with black dudes punching Filipino women and shit in the face in the streets over there? No. Really? I don't believe you, man. We we just have some incident that uh, there's some man from from Africa uh, killed his uh, Filipino girlfriend, but randomly punching people in the face now. A sub man from Africa killed his Filipino girlfriend. Yeah, through through her uh, at the balcony of the tenth floor building. Oh wow! That'll do wow. it. <laughs> yeah, man. Mm -hmm. This is the dude that got arrested. Now remember, this is in a racist white supremacist country where you know, I mean, you know, like it's 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 basically 1842. Look at her walking. She walking fast as shit. Slow down with you in the rush. No for. protection. Like all this talk that like of a white woman's in distress, paratroopers just drop out of the sky and police just show up. Nobody will, can help this woman. She's on her own. She has to figure a way out of this situation on her own. What you in a rush for? Pay attention so you won't walk into people. Can you stop? Just slow down. I'm going You somewhere. almost walked and through. And then look, there's another one right yeah. here. <laughs> she almost ran into down. another one. Look. Just slow you better watch. Slow down. <laughs> watch out, girl. Yeah, this they is the one that all the society's built to serve, right? <laughs> Actively hunted in the street. <laughs> recording this he's recording this after he's been arrested three times before this last arrest he's been arrested three times for punching women in the last like month or whatever they said the last couple of months he's been arrested three times for punching white women in the streets and he's making vi running around making videos <laughs> uploading them online of this shit I'm going you almost me. walked through me yeah. all right Put the phone down so you could pay attention and not walk into nobody. Hey, princess, princess. They got some nice looking women in New York, man. I can tell you that much. Where you got all that hey. swag from? I'm Skabuki, Marcus Garvey Grandson. I was curious to know where you got all that swag. It looks like a skit. The women are so hot, it looks like a skit. I know that's right. Keep it going. I know that's right. Hey. Hey. I'm Marcus Garvey Grandson. Spoke too soon. Skabuki. I'm Marcus Garvey Grandson. I'm Skabuki. I'm Kirsten. I don't know. I don't know him. No. Don't worry about it. I was curious. Why y'all dressed like that? It just lick off, hoish like, sluttish like. But if it makes sense to the black woman, good luck. I hope y'all get married. Okay, later. Savage. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> yo, this guy's out of pocket, yo. Some some straight game right there. I mean, so far this is basically sun man tactics on the street. I'm not. Yeah, seeing this is typical sun man shit. Yet. Yeah, yeah, that's true. 
it's true, but you know, this is but it only right? works hey, if uh, you hear me? What, you, what you doing over there? You hear me screaming from a but it only tree. will work if you're also a good looking some man. No, did he? Okay, no, did he? But if if you're good looking, but if not, you will just turn man. you over. It, 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 work, it, it, it can work because the cold approach went a lot of good looking women are lonely because no one approaches them. And the cold approach works because by volume, it's like you cold approach 20 hot women in a day, right? You may get five numbers. And of those five, you may call five of those numbers and two may converse, converse with you. And then one you may actually sleep with. So it works like that. Volume. Yes, we do that. We do that. This, we do that. Uh, we do that here also. <laughs> That's how we shoot our shot here. Yeah. Hey, baby girl, I want to tell you, never trust a girl with a do-rag on. I love you. I see you got She's a fresh cut, baby. definitely woke, yo. She definitely uses pronouns. Her pronouns are whatever the fuck. I don't know, but she girl. It's me, Skabuki, Marcus Garvey, great, great, great. So I'm running for governor. Look, hell no. Look at this. Look at her head. Look at this is the only type of white black people that the white people them like to hang with. It's black girls that don't do their hair. That's the only way. That oh, look at that girl! You saw her. she went straight to the hands clasped. Like she felt bad about that. The only Act. people that accept black women with their natural hair are white people. That's what he meant to say. Go ahead. Yes, um, Marcus Garvey must be rolling in his, in his grave with this. Uh, disappointment of a grandson if he is. <laughs> yeah, man. What a loser. Exactly. Taking videos of people. <laughs> yes. I will thousand percent believe this guy when he says he's Marcus Garvey's grandson. Look at this. Look at her hair. Look at this. This is the only type of white black people that the white people them like to hang with. It's black girls that don't do their hair. That's the only way that these white people speak to them. That's the only way they deal with them when they don't do their hair. I'm running for governor. I'm Skaboki. Fuck, it's going to be great-great-grandson. I'm not putting up with this. These black girls going to do their hair under governor of the book, eh? Man, he sounds crazy. Him and Lynn would need to have a conversation. So you look tired, right, girl. Black light skin like that. Damn. <clears throat> what? What you said? What you said? Design this outfit. You did all this outfit you got. You put this all together. Amazing. Thank you. What's your name? Kenya. Kenya. I'm Skabuki. Marcus Garvey's grandson. Okay. What about this? You design it? No, I'm not me. That's right. No joke. Take your mask off. Put some no. I like light skin now. Come on. So that's pretty low face. That's right. Okay. Keep it up. I'm going to say right now, I went all the way on the other side. Democrat. He followed me and started recording me. Democrat. I pushed the camera out my face, and that's when he started hitting me. You crazy. And he hit multiple times. Yeah, okay. And everybody, I am fine. You're fine? I am fine. I can't, I can't. But he is a crazy person who is gonna, still recording me. I'm going to do it. Democrat voter. But he did hit it. I mean, are we going to think that he didn't? He's out here smacking bitches left and right. I, I, I'm sure he hit her. And that's got to be aggravating not to be like, why isn't he in cuffs, right? Yeah, I mean, well, he has, the, listen, in this in this dynamic, he's he's he has more power. I would say black women have more power in certain situations. But in a, a cop, a criminal situation, the black man has more power. At, at, at almost every step, like the even with the even when he goes to the judge and the district attorney, and even here on the street with the cop, because that cop doesn't want to 
have to like wrestle with this guy or tussle with this guy or this guy's recording too. Think about it. The fact that he has his camera out and you try to put cuffs on him and he starts tussling and blah, blah, blah. next thing you know, you're on fucking Twitter and shit and a bunch of goddamn white liberals are white calling supremacist you. cop kills yeah, Marcus Gra- yeah. Garvey's grandson. <laughs> exactly, exactly, man. This guy's trying to, he's trying to, he's hoping this just goes away. He's, he wants to do the whole, all right, you get on the train and you you walk that way. <laughs> he, he, he wants to do that and just go all about his day. On the train! I did not go on this fucking New York City train today to be attacked by a crazy ass motherfucker! Yeah, hold on, man. You're a Democrat voter. It's me. Yo, so put- get the fuck out of oh. my- <laughs> Yeah, man. Um... Son, man, man, it's like 1842, man. We basically in shackles, man, again, man. Sundown towns and all that shit, man. Um, Step out of line one inch and you're going to get smacked down, jackboot of white supremacy crushing your <laughs> neck. Yeah, man, you know how it is. Um, this guy says, this is day three of women in NYC getting punched in the face. The New York Post, NYPD, and the mayor, Elon Musk, and Twitter haven't said anything about – well, that's this. That's actually not true. They, they, at least the news, the, in the New York news is starting to cover it, even though eventually the mayor may – no, nah, he ain't going to say nothing about this. Hello. So this is day three of women in New York City getting punched in the face. The New York Post has not said anything about it. The NYPD has not said anything about it. The mayor has not said anything about it. Elon Musk has not said anything about it. And Twitter has not said anything about it. Which means it had nothing to do with black men. Black men ain't got shit to do with this. So everyone's quiet. All the right wing pages are quiet. The post is quiet. The news is quiet. So we all know it's a bunch of white men punching a bunch of white women. Interesting reasoning, my brother. (laughs) How are you that fucking stupid? I think yeah, because it was black men, you know what I'm saying? When black men do stuff, it's gets blown out of proportion, man. You know how they do. You know how the, the, the system is. And why do my brothers and sisters of my skin complexion care about a white people getting snuff? Serial snuffer, and he's only snuffing white people? Um, What's the problem? They used to hang us at one time. That's why we're so stuck in this victimized generation. Y'all gonna feel bad, but play the victim all the time. Why are you mad that white people getting snuffed? I never been more happier to be the people of color. You only snuffing the white folks? Thank you. And why do my brothers and sisters... And this guy could work at AT&T, IBM. He could work for fucking goddamn any company in the office fucking world and this would not be he would not have to be called into his office about some problematic some troublesome problematic um online activity this guy could work for fucking joe biden he could work anywhere there's nowhere this guy can't work where he's going to get called in the office for this shit if he was white my god he would lose everything And why do my brothers and sisters of my skin complexion care about a white people getting snuff? Serial snuffer, and he's only snuffing white people? Um, what's the problem? They used to hang us at one time. That's why we're so stuck in this victimized generation. Y'all gonna feel bad, but play the victim all the time. Why are you mad that white people getting snuffed? I never been more happier to be the people of color. You only snuffing the white folks? Thank you. And why? He never been more happier. Yo, I'm on dude's page. This Skabuki store dude on his Instagram. Straight noodle. Psycho. <laughs> Yo, I'm a troll the hell out of him. Yeah, man. Whoever is punching those white girls in New York in the face, 
Leave them ladies alone. If you're going to be punching people, you can go punch some Zionists. Deborah Messing, Talia, Michael uh -oh. Rapaport. Oh. You got a whole handful whoa, of people you punch whoa. You're just punching innocent white Boy, women. Bae. Leave them ladies alone. Go punch Zionists. Hey, fish and if you need a, a list, DM me. I'll send you a list of people you can find and punch. But leave Fisherman them the girls alone. Those white ladies didn't do nothing to you. Absolutely not. And to the not. white ladies. Well, y'all <laughs> start recording yeah, who's punching you. No. Wow. Some, some women are a permanent no. <laughs> wow. I don't know. She fits your profile. Yeah, man. Fisherman, you got to reach out, man. Um, you got a partner in crime. Yeah, man. Y'all can make some good beige, it's beige anti Semitic babies, man. <laughs> like a pin punching him. You don't need to punch, you don't need to punch him in the face. Just say Christ is King. Yeah, Christ is King. Yeah, that, yeah that's it. That's that's anti Semitic now. I, I I just learned that literally two days ago. Like I I it must be the Mandela effect. I never heard that. Yeah, one. Me either. I, I mean, you, you know, you know, they spit on Christians in Israel, right? Yeah, yeah, I seen that. Yeah. There's a dude in New York running around punching women in the face. I was gonna say this a couple days ago, but I wanted to make sure that like no videos of no black girls popped up like of him punching them before I said it. But I don't think that we're dealing with a villain here, especially he only punching white women. We're dealing with an anti-hero. This is somebody with some complex motivations, probably a dark backstory that we need to get to the bottom of. Y'all should let me interview him. And then on top of that, you can tell that he's white because they're just calling him a man. Like that's all he is. He's just exactly. a dude. he's not an unarmed assailant. He's not a he's not a day. See, they, they they live in an upside down world where they where 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 left is right and right is left. Where they literally lie to themselves that like they're somehow persecuted in the media. Yeah, this is why some people can't build jack shit because their minds are so fucking warped. It's like yeah, they don't perceive reality in the same way, literally. And then this guy right here, wherever he works at, you can show this to his boss. There'll be no repercussions. There'll be nothing. There will be zero repercussions for this in any way for this guy. And a white man's going to come and say, hey, Negroid. I don't like what you said. Like nobody's gonna do anything to him on any level for this. But if a white man said any one tenth of this, he would come to YouTube or Twitter with another video, crying and bitching and moaning about what that white man said. And said all the all, all the glider women would too. Exactly. Facts. To get to the bottom of. Y'all should let me interview him. And then on top of that, you can tell that he's white because they're just calling him a man. Like that's all he is. He's just a dude. He's not an unarmed assailant. He's not a he's not a danger to safety. None of that. He's just a man running around punching people in the face. I think that's so funny. And furthermore, I think that nigga was planted by the government. Cause like who 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 just has enough in New York? He was planted by the government. That's why I don't that's why I reject. I grew up around black people. I reject conspiracy theory so vehemently. Not because there's no conspiracies, but because black people live in this world where they just, they don't have to be like, you know how like, even with 9-11, I don't, I don't think that was a conspiracy, but I can understand as you could, you could make a case, okay, da, 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 da. black people will throw a conspiracy out of thin air where there's nothing that, they, they don't have to be anything there. like this guy. He doesn't know anything about any of it. He doesn't know anything about any of this stuff. And he just throws a conspiracy up. I think the that's air is in right in front of this guy's nose. Yeah, exactly. That That's why I reject because I grew up around these people. It's it's mine. It's 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 a, aggravating the way they throw conspiracies out there. Everything's a fucking conspiracy. Yeah, they they man running around punching people in the face. I think that's so funny. And furthermore, I think that nigga was planning by the government because, like, who, who, 
who just has enough in New York and just is like, bro, today is the day that I'm punching every white woman I see. Don't let me catch one of them lacking. Yo, that happens all the time. In most cities. Yeah, like white women get punched in the face all the fucking time by random black dudes, man. Um, salute to um, Muramasa, man. He says, what's up, Ah? Uh? As Siegel said, it's state property. Either you get down or you're going to lay down. Yeah, man. Facts, man. Get down and lay down, man. Um, white women been getting punched for um, I mean, like, yo, like that shit is like. You remember the one in eighteen eighty four that got attacked in her parlor? <laughs> yo, it, it's it's literally like um. It's it's. It's almost like, yo, know, getting punched in in getting punched by a black guy is literally in in the streets of New York or um, any city. This is only becoming a story because it's TikTok and it's it's another surge. This is another surge in this type of behavior, but this is very common, and he's trying to act like. It's some conspiracy and shit. This is like, bro, today is the day that I'm punching every white woman I see. Don't let me catch one of them lacking. Like, I didn't have days like that, but I ain't never really acted on it. I just feel like we all had days like that in our minds, but we never acted on really? it. So the fact that he is acting on it. Yikes. He needs to speak for, speak for himself. What Whoa. a psycho. Yikes. I've He's never had a day. Himself here, I think. I, I've never had a day where I just been like, yeah, I want to go around and punch white women. He said we've all. He said we've all had days like that. <laughs> like, yo, he said we've all. Like, yo, yo, like, yeah, who hasn't? Well, yeah, who hasn't, you know, just wanted to go around and punch a bunch of white women? Like, come on, man. Let's keep it a buck, man. Cut, cut it out, man. We've all we've all wanted to do that, man. Um, shit. My God. <laughs> God damn. Hey, what was that? AI? AI knows what's up. Wow. Listen, man. Listen, we that, that, that picture don't look way that much off, man, of what we see, man. Like we see a lot of white women, especially in commercials. That that looks like a fucking commercial or some shit. Every fucking commercial I see nowadays from fucking biracial couple, interracial couple, man. Look how long this shit's been going on, man. Look, um, what's this, three years ago? Let's see this one, three years ago. We begin with that violent rampage on a Queens subway. A woman says she was attacked while trying to take video of a couple after an assault on another passenger. And tonight, she is speaking exclusively with CBS 2's Dave Carlin. They were both punching him in the face. With bruising under an eye, a busted lip, and her arm scratched and bruised, she tells us about the violent attack she suffered on her ride home from Manhattan to Queens on a seven train Monday afternoon. She's 26 years old and asks we only use her first name, Victoria, and says this is the man and woman who allegedly brutalized her. She says it began when they roughed up another writer. I wanted to have their picture on to give it to the cops. Her video begins with the suspects at a far end of the train car. The man who was punched and his phone smashed did not appear to know his attackers. Then the duo started walking, <laughs> directing verbal threats at various people. <laughs> then the woman saw Victoria. Well, they're just going around the train terrorizing. What's up? What's up? I dare somebody do some bitch. Ah, oh, what lovely people to live around and do. <laughs> it's only like this everywhere. She threw the first punch, but they, they both attacked me. Everybody ran away. <laughs> no one helped you. My phone went flying. Yeah, no, no one helps you when, 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 when black, when black people are 
kicking your what ass. When you try to help. You get five years Dick ago. and Christine, the video has five been described as sickening, disgusting, and inexcusable. And though it is admittedly difficult to watch, we show it to you in hopes of helping police track down the person behind this brutal and seemingly unprovoked attack. Watch as a man standing on the train kicks another passenger sitting nearby. Not once, but twice, the attacker kicks a 78 year old woman directly in the face with his boot. <laughs> Context clues. I mean, listen. That's why I'm saying, and, and the brother online act like it's a conspiracy. Yo, bro, yo, listen, man. And they, I'm pretty sure she said a man, right? She didn't say that was a woman. That was 78 year old woman. No, no, no. But the reporter yeah. described the assailant as a, as a man. He didn't. She didn't describe yeah. him as a old black Negro male. Nah, 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 nah. She. They never do. But it, this is five years ago. Think about this, man. This type of behavior. This is pre-Floyd. This is this is before Floyd. This is this is this video. This is on the news in the, the biggest city in the country before Floyd, and everyone still acted like every black guy was an angel that was just being. It just shows you the power of the media. In the power of the collective, you know what I'm saying? A mob. Once a mob gets um on behind something, everybody's been knowing this. This is this is this is common behavior. Boot, and then follows that up with four more kicks to her body before staring directly into a cell phone camera and walking off the train. Oh, oh no! Damn, that's somebody mother. It's really vile and um, humane, really, to be honest. No, 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 no. It's disgusting. It happened on Sunday, March 10th, around 3 a.m., as a northbound two train pulled into the Nareed Avenue station near 238th Street in the Bronx. Some commuters recorded the attack. Others watched. Now, when you see this guy, you ain't going to think he just did that. He looked like a regular son, man. Very relevant mm -hmm. here. Just what? I put a link in the back, and it, it's it's very relevant. It's not a video, but it's a New York subway crime through the decades, and we're like in the 60s, and you'd be interested to see who's being arrested. Okay, I'll get to that. It's in the back. All right. Good news details about a crime on camera. A new video has been released of a brutal beating on Miami's Metro Mover. The victim speaking out as we learn new information about where the suspect is right now. Local 10's Christian De La Rosa has the story. Well, right now, the attacker in this case is only facing a charge for aggravated assault, which is a bondable offense. But that's likely changing now. Emotionally, I am destroyed. Andrea Puerta is clearly still recovering from the trauma after being brutally beaten by this man in downtown Miami's Metro Mover earlier this month. It left her with a broken rib, injuries to her back, and a concussion. But what's worse, he never should have been released in the first place. Her attacker, Joshua King, who's also accused of pouncing on two other passengers, got out of jail after being granted a $1,500 bond. He tried to kill me. But now Local 10 News is learning the Miami-Dade State Attorney's Office is trying to revoke King's bond and put him back in custody after the one and only first exposed to disturbing video. Sources telling us the man is from Tallahassee and had a fully loaded Glock magazine on him with 14 9 millimeter rounds in it. And the 25 year old is now Baker acted in Delray Beach after being picked up by his parents from jail. Julian Strongly is King's attorney. It's known that we're going to be bringing up competency at this time and we're going to be requesting an evaluation. That's to be heard on Wednesday. And Wednesday will be the next court hearing in this case, at which point we may. Delray Beach is a beautiful place. And it's... except for when people like these come through, I was at, you know, like uh, last year, I think I told the story in here. I was in Delray Beach and I was like having dinner at this nice place. And all of a sudden, like a hundred sons on ATVs just fucking roll down the street. And then five minutes later, three or four cop cars come rolling after them. Yeah, man. Listen, man. Listen. This is 
common behavior. This is not even like this is so common. This is this is just like I can't even explain it. Seven years ago. Police want to find the man who I was saw your caught video, on surveillance man. camera I mean, you're, you're viciously awesome, beating a 75-year-old man in the West Village. They say the attacker had an accomplice who acted as a lookout. CBS 2's Janelle Burrell live in the West Village do, with more of this news. Janelle? Do I mute it? No, you're not muted. Well, Chris, the son of that 75-year-old man says he was out shopping. When like, I mean, it's just... It's just, it's just normal. This is just, this stuff is, is, it, it's, it's normal. This is just what they, what, what, what we do, man. Um, Here at home, the latest figures are in on subway crime, and it's even worse than some thought. Felonies and robberies are up, breaking previous crime records. The transit police fear it may not be short-lived either. Just this afternoon, there was a shooting on the number six line at 125th Street. One person was rushed to the hospital after being shot three times in the chest. Two people were arrested. Lynn White reports that's not the only subway crime in the last 24 hours. A man was stabbed and robbed on Saturday night at the IRT subway station at 66th and Broadway. The suspect got away, the victim taken to a nearby hospital. Just one more in a growing number of incidents that have caused the crime rate in the subways to soar to its highest level since 1982. Felonies in the subways are up 16 percent. Robberies have climbed to 23 percent. Cases making headlines from the so-called Subway Samaritan who just last weekend stabbed a mugger to death to the Bronx subway rapist suspected of attacking nearly a half a dozen women. See the faces? <laughs> well, it was probably white men doing it in 1982 when it was highest previously, right? Why would they call him the subway Samaritan? So why would they call an attacker a subway Samaritan? No, like they talk talking about the guy who stabbed the, who stabbed the um, mugger is not this guy, but a guy who stabbed the mugger that called him a subway Samaritan. Percent cases making oh, headlines okay. from the so called subway Samaritan who just last weekend stabbed a mugger to death to the Bronx subway rapist suspected of attacking nearly a half a dozen women to the so-called remember me shooter, a young man who was mugged and vowed to get even with the gang of youths who attacked him. He did so the next day by shooting three of his alleged attackers in a Brooklyn subway station. You just get nervous. You get wary on the subways now, and I'm, I'm very worried because I ride every day and every night, and my sister does also. It's just it's not safe anymore. The incoming president of the New York City Transit Authority Police Union says that he believes that he has the answer to the growing rate of crime in the subways. That answer to merge his police officers with the New York City Police Department. What would that give us? That would give us immediately better resources. The transit police, as they point out, by the way, management, uh, is lacking our manpower right now. Uh, we'd have an improved radio communication center, better equipment. Uh, the transit authority is directly responsible for the horrendous rate of growth in the subway. Ron Reale says his cops, the transit cops, cannot patrol the subways alone. They need help. We're going to have to call for, and I am considering doing that after January 1st, an ad hoc committee to be appointed by the governor of the state of New York to get into the simple solutions, and when I say simple, I mean that, of dealing with subway crime. Whatever the solution, the fact remains that crime on New York City subways continues to rise. And for that, strap hangers will be forking out an extra 15 cents for a token come January 1st. Lynn White. Okay. All right. Well, how bad is crime on the subways? Today, police say the robbers were getting robbed. Police say that Garnell Thompson stole almost $1,300 in cash and jewelry from passengers on a J train in oh, Brooklyn. No. Passengers chased him off the train at Hughes Street and caught him. While he was penned down, police say that Julio Malava went through his pockets and stole the jewelry. Now both men are facing charges. A U.S. senator was also riding the subway today talking about crime. Ron Claiborne reports. Senator Al D'Amato began his day with a largely symbolic ride on the subway with Mayor Koch and MTA Chairman Robert Kiley. The Same shit that fucking um, 
Eric, Eric, um, the mayor just did the other day. I mean, uh, like he even looks like a little like ago. him right here. Like if he was, like... <laughs> yeah. same thing he just did. And on the subway with Mayor Koch and MTA Chairman Robert Kiley, the trio packed into an IRT train with several dozen reporters and rode from Union Square to the City Hall station. Mayor D'Amato announced his plan to introduce a bill in the Senate next week to help fight crime in public transit systems. What I am proposing is a transit crime prevention bill. When Nothing has changed. <laughs> Nothing's changed. Nothing ever fucking changed. So frustrating. Shout out to Muramasa, man. He says, thankfully, I'll be leaving for Japan Saturday. Have a safe trip, man, on vacation. No sons or crime on the streets. Or trains over there. Yeah, that's changing, but so far, so far, not. But this, I'm, I'm seeing things online that are troubling me. I'm seeing spurts of suns over there, and they're acting the same way they act over here. Um, but you can give us a report when you get back. Make sure you give us a report when you get back. Take some pictures too, or some footage, man, and send it to me, man, um, Muramasa. When I come go back to Washington this Monday, I will file that bill that will make available some two hundred million dollars, so that these kinds of two hundred million nineteen eighty dollars. That's like what a billion dollars. <laughs> God, oh. Areas can be well lit so that we have a vandal proof. Uh, uh, vandal proof lighting systems so that we have uh, closed circuit TV systems so that we improve uh, the telecommunication systems. Huh? About 753 million, so near a billion dollars. For for sun turds. Yeah, in, in today's money. Yeah, th that's what that's how much they had to pay for sun turds. Right. I mean, a group that's already costing. <laughs> the country or the city in this case. Oh, good thing they didn't have uh, programs, you know, for some people back in the, uh, in the 80s when it was racist. And this is around the time of Central Park 5. So remember, Trump takes his ad out in the paper and doesn't mention the Central Park 5 at all. Just talks about crime in the city. And people... Tried to say you was talking about the Central Park Five. That was the least. That was one night, one one of the thousands of crimes that was committed that night. Uh, seems to me there's a reason that people jump to black people when they hear crime in New York City subconsciously. Exactly. Oof, uh uh, vandal proof lighting systems so that we have uh, closed circuit TV systems so that we improve the telecommunication systems. Tomato says under his proposal, New York City's transit system would qualify for $60 million to improve transit security. There were about 14,000 violent crimes in the subway system last year. That was actually down from the 15,000 plus serious crimes reported in 1981 and 1982. Mayor Koch credits the decline in reported transit crime to more transit cops, the canine patrols, and the periodic subway sweeps that have netted 6,000 suspected subway criminals. There is no serious danger of crime in the subway system during commuting uh, hours, uh, as is perceived uh, by some. Crime occurs basically when people don't ride uh, the subways, and that's when you will find that there is a uh, greater danger. What we have to do is to have more people come in uh, to the subways throughout the 24-hour period. Later at a hearing chaired by Senator D'Amato, three subway crime victims told how they were attacked while waiting for trains, one of them at 9 in the morning and the other at 3 in the afternoon. He threw me over the man's head in front of me, but he didn't let me go. He held on to me, and so I remember the yellow tile. I hit the, the pavement on the bottom. My head split open. MTA Chairman Robert Kiley told the panel that two surveys last year showed that even more than the quality of service, fear of crime was the major concern of both subway riders and people who avoid the system. Kiley says reducing crime is essential to turning around the steadily declining subway ridership. Ron Claiborne. <laughs>